the week-long event, which will bring leaders from 21 economies and more than 20,000 people to the city, kicks off with closed-door meetings of senior financial officials from various countries and regions. At the Moscone Center, workers began installing heavy-duty fencing along sidewalks in the safety zone surrounding Moscone. On Friday, thus giving residents and motorists an idea of what would happen, President Joe Biden, Chinese President Xi Jinping and other heads of state from around world are expected to arrive in San Francisco next week. This is also date when biggest disruptions on city's roads will occur. However, APEC's testing at San Francisco City Hall is already ongoing, facing a tough re-election campaign next year. Mayor London Breed and other officials in her administration hope APEC will be an opportunity to begin healing the city's battered reputation. The city's national and international has been eroded by incessant headlines about public drug markets, homelessness, empty downtown offices, a mass exodus of major retailers and brazen property crimes. John King Chronicle ahead of conference. The city is trying to be aggressive in clearing homeless tent encampments while working within limits of a federal measure that limits San Francisco's ability to conduct encampment sweeps without providing adequate shelter. The city has not opened new shelters specifically for APEC, but it launched an overnight winter shelter program on Friday, and officials are working to add 300 beds to existing shelters in the coming months. In addition to trying to move people away from some prime camping spots in Tenderloin and Soma, City has also launched a beautification campaign ahead of APEC, such as stripping dock at Ferry Building and cleaning up dirt from San Francisco Museum, the upper floors of modern art and the decoration of crosswalks in North Beach and Chinatown. We want people to experience San Francisco firsthand, especially those who come here from other places so they can tell the story from their experiences walking the streets and visiting other parts of our city, Breed told reporters. We want to make sure the true story of San Francisco is told. On eve of the official start of APEC, U.S. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen met with Chinese Vice Premier He Lifeng in San Francisco and then told reporters that California is an appropriate place for U.S. to try to strengthen economic relations with China. Next week, federal government will create two tightly controlled APEC security zones, one in Knob Hill, around Fairmont Hotel where Biden is expected to stay, and other in Soma, around Moscone Center, where APEC meetings of government officials are held. A separate but related conference will be held with the participation of many CEOs. Traffic began to get disrupted downtown Thursday when police began shutting down 4th Avenue at Mission Street and pulling up fencing. Once security zones are fully established, pedestrians will need to pee.